Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today's video we're going to be going through my travel bag. So this is all the toiletries that I bring with me. This does not include my makeup, though there is probably makeup in here that I don't know how it ended up in this bag. This is supposed to be stuff like shampoo, toothpaste, that kind of stuff, but this bag is so full I can't zip it anymore. So I figured I needed to go through it and try to declutter it. So let's get started. So this little bag I got from Ikea forever ago probably got a name on it. Ikea family is what it says on it and that's mostly because it's that kind of fabric that you know it doesn't generally let water get through it so that's why I kept this little guy. Also it doesn't tend to get too dirty looking since it is black. Um, it sort of covers a multitude of sins unless I dump glitter in it by accident which certainly does happen. All right so I pulled everything out of the very front pocket. So so far this is already what's been jammed just in this section here. So I have two pairs of earrings that I didn't actually know were missing because I had just unpacked all my earrings and hung them up on the wall so I didn't no, I didn't have these guys. I clearly wasn't missing them. So part of me wonders if I need to continue keeping these. However, this red pair, these are my backup pirate earrings for when my normal pirate earrings are either missing or like my ears are kind of irritated because uh, I do like to wear jewelry when I'm performing on stage, but it needs to be very light, which these are. And also it needs to just not irritate my ears or get caught on my, my, my microphone. Because sometimes we're wearing a headset mic that uh, goes around the back of my ear and doesn't actually interfere with my earlobe. And then we have a different kind that goes forward. Um, and so I have different earrings depending on which kind is being provided to me. So these I definitely do want to keep these other earrings I've forgotten about them so I want to compare them to the other ones on the rack and if there's anything similar I would need to only keep one pair so those will stay here um, I have some vitamin C drops uh, these are sugar-free I eat these like candy especially when my throat is kind of dry so those I do want to keep and then I have my one pair of earplugs I like to keep and then I have all these hair ties so some of these are super stretched out so those are garbage I'm gonna put those in the trash um, these guys still seem to be pretty good similar with these so I don't know if I necessarily need this many hair ties, but if there are any more in this bag, I'm not going to keep them, but these we'll keep for now. Um, I hate this kind of emery board. Like, these are awful. These are also kind of busted. I think they have water damage. Probably something leaked on them, so those I'm also going to toss. I also have a random shower cap. I probably took this from a hotel somewhere. Uh, to be honest, I don't need this thing. Um, and it, Oh, it has a hole in it because it's being stored with an emery board. What do I expect? So we'll let go of that too. Um, that's just medication. Like this is some Imodium in case my stomach hurts from traveling. And then I have two of these pirate doubloons from the Columbus Zoo, which I do want to keep, but I don't need to keep them in my travel bag. I'll put those with some other stuff instead. Um, and then I apparently have a dollar fifty in quarters. So uh, we're going to add that to my change jar. That's certainly useful. Um, the tissues I'll use, so those will stay in the keep side. So put those over here. And now into the main portion of this bag. So I'm just going to dump all this out and then we'll sort through what's there. Let's see what we've got, shall we? Uh, so got a lot of like, you know, supplies for that time of the month. Got like, some tampons, that kind of thing. Uh, these are all fine. Those I definitely want to keep and put those back in there. Though I'm not sure why I have quite so many, but that's fine. Um, I have this sample size of the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I was enjoying this on my trip. This is pretty good at getting off moisturizer. Uh, the thing about this, it came with like a little plastic um, like spatula, which I appear to have misplaced. But I've just been digging my finger in at this point. Um, but actually I've gotten several uses out of it and there's still a decent amount of product left in here. So I want to continue using it. Uh, I do like this makeup balm. It's not the greatest ever, but it does smell really nice. It does make my eyes sting a little bit, but I tend to use it on sort of like the stubborn stuff around my chin line, uh, and that's been really good for that. So this I will keep. Uh, these are my face wash wipes. These are from Olay, and I, towards the end of the trip to Georgia, I was really running low, so I cut them all. Instead of cutting them into half, I'd cut them into fourths. So I will continue to use those up because I was afraid I wasn't going to make it the whole way home. So those will stay in there because I'm going on a trip this weekend. All right. So this is some lactate. This is expired, so let's toss that. I also have a piece of gum that's been completely squashed. That's probably why this smells like toothpaste. It's probably the gum. Um, this Ziploc bag, I think, had medications in it, so this is more Imodium. Uh, no human being needs this much on one trip. I'm certainly not getting that sick. Uh, these are all good, though. They have not expired. Uh, I don't think I need to keep all of them in here. So actually, this one expires later, so I'm going to put this back in my bathroom, and I'm going to keep these little guys in this Ziploc bag. Those I will travel with. Uh, this is, an I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is also Imodium. This is technically expired and it's been over a year, so I will toss that. I just hadn't noticed it was in the bottom. 
Same with these, I prefer the smaller size pills with those anyway. And I have a couple of cotton balls that I think came in like a little like mini set from like a hotel. That also is a tiny emery board in there. Um, I guess I'll keep those in the bag for now just in case I need it. How much gum is in here? Why is there so much gum in my travel like toiletry bag? I'm actually gonna move this to my purse, which is really where I wanna have it. So let me put that in the pile to get put where it actually belongs. Oh, and this gum clearly got wet and is really squishy. So we're gonna toss that too. Even more hair ties. Uh, this is way more hair ties than I need to have in here. This this is just getting silly. But yeah, I don't need all these hair ties. I have plenty. So I'll, I'll put the red one in with the ones I'm planning to keep. But the rest of these, I'm gonna put these with the rest of my hair ties that live in my house. I don't know why I have scrunchies, but I apparently at least have one. I think this is like to get my hair out of my face if I'm doing like a face mask. So I'll keep one scrunchie, but I don't need this headband. So these guys will get put away in the house where they belong. One of my cats, she likes to carry toothpaste caps in her mouth and she actually placed this one in my bag for me when I was traveling. So I keep it in there to think of her. So this will go back in the bag. I'll just put that in the front pocket because then I like to think of my kitty. Uh, there's actually a second one in here, um, which I find hilarious, but I'll put this with her toys because she'll play with this when I'm not home. And then speaking of overkill, I have three containers of floss. These are all glide floss and uh, they have a varying amount of floss still in them. This one's almost full, so this one I'll put back in the apartment. Uh, this one is running towards the end, but should be fine for any weekend trip, similar for that one. So I'll put that one back in there. That one we're gonna put away. And then I have some shampoo samples. Right now I have the Verb Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner, so one of those. And then I have the sea shampoo and sea conditioner also in like a packet. So these I'll continue to keep with me. I'll put those back in there. Um, and then this guy is from IGK. That's the hydrating shampoo and conditioner. I'll take that and try that out while I'm away. That's fine too. More gum that needs to be thrown away. Uh, a pair of nail scissors. I will keep this, but I'll keep it in the front pocket so I don't poke myself with it. This is my travel toothbrush. I do need to toss this one and put a new one in the case, so I'll put that to the side to do that. And then this is my boss's toothpaste that he left in our last Airbnb, but when I did the final clear out, I found out that he had left this on the counter, so I'm gonna return that to him, so I'll put that back in here. And then this is the sh toothpaste I'm gonna use this weekend, so I'll keep that as well. And then I have my Dr. Brandt Needles No More No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel, which I do think is great, but I didn't know where this was. And this is what I was really trying to find. This is my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Eraser Dark Circles. I love this thing. It's a great concealer for covering up under your eyes. Um, or if you've got like bruising or something you need to cover up so that like little kids don't see you've got like a bruise on your arm from when you ran into the door. Uh, or like scratch yourself on like pirate stuff. This stuff is pretty great. I love this. I couldn't figure out where this had went. So this, this is really what I was looking for. So I'm glad to find that. So just to take a look, all of this came out of this tiny little bag. This right here is all the stuff that's garbage. Either it expired, it got wet, it has a hole in it, it's damaged in some way. This stuff in the middle is what's going back in the bag. This is stuff I'm gonna be taking with me on the next trip. And um, this stuff over here does not belong in here or it's like duplicates. Like I don't need three things of floss in one travel kit. That's silly. I don't need to put this many hair things in there. Um, and this gum's gonna get moved to my purse and like this makeup's gonna go with my makeup stuff instead. So in any case, that is decluttering my toiletries bag. This is such a relief to realize that I have enough of my stuff that I normally need. Like I've got plenty of shampoo and stuff. I was afraid I was really running low, but really it was in there. Just a lot of it was sort of like buried in the bottom. And I don't need to have duplicates of so much stuff. It's not necessary. But this is one of those things that, you know, you put off for a while and then it feels insurmountable and you can't zip the bag closed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. If you got a suggestion for a video, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you all soon. Bye.